stars above I should cross the oceans For a glimpse of your love But tonight my bed Is a cold and empty space In which I find no shelter From your haunting face Ay, mi corazón Temor, maldición Ay, mi corazón Temor, maldición Temor, maldición All right, so we finally made it to Oaxaca. We've been here for a couple days. Uh, when we were planning this trip, Oaxaca is the place that I was most excited to come to. And it feels awesome that we're finally here. We haven't done much yet. We've been here a couple days and mostly been just getting some work done. But we're taking a break from work today and we are going to a very famous market. We are going to Mercado Viente de Novembre. Uh, it is famous for its meat hall, where they do a lot of grilled meats and whatnot. And you order them by the kilo and they grill them for you and you get tortillas and salsas and veggies. And it's supposed to be amazing. And super hectic. I am ready for some meat. I'm starving. Yeah, so we're gonna check it out and see what it's all about. Tell me how happy you are right now. I'm very happy. Meat and tortillas and veggies and salsa. Shut up. Yeah, it's 
I'm like giddy right now. I can't stop smiling. We should do this every day. This is absurd. Oh my god. It's for tea. And then meat heaven. Meat heaven. Meat, tortillas. Onion, pepper, all the salsas. All the meat and stuff only costs 150 pesos? 160 yeah. pesos? So what is that, 750? Yeah. Plus whatever all this is gonna cost, but it's not much. This is super cheap, affordable, amazing meal. My mouth is numb right now. These chilies are no joke. <laughs> but it's like, a, it's a good pain. It's got the meat sweats, mm -hmm. the chili sweats. Like feels like it's good for you. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so happy. So full. So we just finished at the meat market and it was absolutely insane. Lots of meat. So much meat, so much food. For all that food, two beers and two mineral waters, it was 355 pesos. It's like 17-ish dollars. In the States, I don't even want to imagine what all that would have cost. It, was, it would have been $17 just for the drinks. Yeah. So, totally amazing, unique experience. That market has so much food. So, we're definitely going to go back and probably have some more meals there. Seems like a really cheap, delicious place to eat. And we'll probably hit up that meat market again before we leave Oaxaca. Yeah, I'm so bloated.
finished up mezcal tasting Woo! at El Cortijo. It was super cool. The woman who is running the bar is really, really nice. Um, Only speaks Spanish, but was speaking slowly. So we understood maybe like 40%, which was enough. Yeah, we're starting to pick up more, which is great. Yeah. But anyway, we're gonna go spoil ourselves and we're gonna go to Casa Oaxaca, which is supposed to be one of the best restaurants in Oaxaca doing traditional food. Uh, I'm not really dressed for it. No, I have like a, he's not. I'd rather be sashaying shirt on, so. He's also had like an ounce of mezcal and he's already drunk, so we'll see how this goes. Maybe two and a half ounces, ho. Oh my God, let's go. <laughs> oh yeah. Siempre ha sido el gran amor. Cha cha. So we were trying to make it to Casa Oaxaca, but we didn't make a reservation. It's a Saturday and we should know better. They had tables, but we wanted to be on the terrace and it's next the place to be apparently. So anyway, we have to come back to Oaxaca at some point. So we're gonna end up going to Casa Oaxaca, but we found this other restaurant that was recommended to us called Los Tezantes. And super cute, open air, but it's covered. And we're waiting for a table, we're waiting for drinks now. We'll see how it is. Cheers. We ordered two different mezcal cocktails. They make their own mezcal at this yeah. restaurant. And mine has a seasonal shrub, which I'm not sure what's in it, but there's also grapefruit in it. It's basically like a mezcal and tonic with grapefruit. It's delicious. And mine's made with uh, passion fruit. And of many words. Well, I don't remember the rest. <laughs> Sorry. Do you speak Spanish over there? No. No, not worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, no worry. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't speak, we speak Spanish too here. We speak a many different languages. Yeah. And our drink, for example, is the real name not mezcal. We say mezcal because it's easy, but the real name is mezcal escaji. We say fast mezcaji, or more easy mezcal, and that means agave cook. To make mezcal, we cook the hard agave. Nothing is Spanish here. For example, the mole. The real name is not mole, we say mole because it's more popular, but the name is muji. Muji means when you have ingredients and you smash together. This is muji. In Oregon, you speak Mexican and maybe you don't know the real name for many different words. For example, you say guacamole, but it's not a real name. You say avocado and we aguacate. Aguacate, muji, guacamole. Guacamole. Ah. Means avocado is smashed with more ingredients. With ah. mix and mole, or muji means something smashed or mixed. Here we have a five different. This one right here, the more clear, is the amarillito mole. Uh -huh. Amarillito is a local mole from the Valley of Oaxaca. It's more herbal and floral because it's made with this leaf right there, the hierba santa. This one right here is the black mole. It's the most popular mole in Mexico. It's made with chocolate, just now I have chocolate. Oregon has snow. And if you have snow, you like the chocolate. Yeah. And you have to know the real name is not chocolate. It's in our language. Choco. Ati. Ati means water. Choco, bitter. Bitter water. Ah. When you order some chocolate in Oaxaca to take the breakfast, the people ask, um, you chocolate it with water or with milk? And somebody from Oregon thinks, why water? Choco api, bitter water, the real juice to cacao in the South Mexico. Our drink, the tejate, you can find it everywhere. Mm. It's made with water. Mm -hmm. In Chiapas, the pozol, the local drink, is made with water. Everything on the South is made with water for that because that means. Chocolate. This one right here is my favorite, the red mole is made for candy. Candy is a traditional cooker in our restaurant. It uh, may be the most spicier than the rest, but it's made with apples, so you can feel the sweet and spicy. Ah, okay. ah. 
pieces, mancha, manteles, pineapple, apples, chili, fish, chili, fish, potato, these are really good. That one. And just to finish, we have the chichilo. Chichilo means when you on the grill put the ingredients, onion, garlic, chili, and when everything is born, you say that you broke and so the flavor is earthy. Uh -huh. And just to finish, we have here the chochoyote. That is uh, open mind, but it's a uh, the tradition is a little plain thing, mm -hmm. belly button frying. <laughs> you have to explain that. Right? But that, that is to try the mole. Let me bring you more corn right now okay. to, to, to try. Please Thank you enjoy. so much. Muchas gracias. The principal characteristic of the red mole is that it's sweet because we use a really famous Mexican cookie that is called Galleta Maria to make it, okay? Also you will find the spiciness due to the chilies, okay?